All right, what is going on? Uh, I wanted to do a quick little video. Um, I just discovered the Dragon Ball uh, card game is a digital version. Actually, I didn't even really realize the uh, the paper version was coming out as well. But um, I'm a uh, I'm a big card game fan. Uh, so this was a an interesting discovery. I kind of I haven't had any games I've wanted to play lately, so I was just kind of browsing through uh, through Twitch. And I happened to see some people playing this. Um, and I was, as I said, I was completely unaware um, of it. And uh, it looked pretty cool. So I decided to jump into the open beta. Uh, I basically only got a day worth of playing out of it. Um, but uh, I was actually pretty impressed. Uh, I was surprisingly impressed. I really didn't, uh, for a game that kind of came out of nowhere for me, uh, I didn't really expect much, and uh, I was pleasantly surprised. But yeah, uh, I kind of got my start in uh, streaming, playing a game called Hex Shards of Fate. Uh, this is way back, uh, probably 2000, either 2013, 2015, somewhere around there. Unfortunately, that game passed away. Um, but uh, since then, I've never really found a card game that has held my interest uh, more so digitally. Um, I've grown up playing magic and stuff like that. So, um, arena hasn't been great for me. Um, it just hasn't felt the same. Uh, so I've always been kind of looking for a new digital card game to play. And, uh, this one actually looks pretty interesting and it was actually kind of fun to play. Um, for those of you who know about it, there's a game called flesh and blood, uh, which is a card game, but it's only physical and it's a really cool card game. I enjoy it. But uh, as somebody that streams, I like to have a game that I can actually stream a little bit easier. Obviously, you can stream paper card games, but um, a lot more setup for that. And I, I would just rather have it all in a nice digital package, you know. So uh, it was really nice to kind of find this game. And it kind of has a bit of the same vibe in how you play it. Um at least in terms of uh, games I've played, card games I've played. I haven't really played any of the uh, Bandai card games like One Piece or anything like that. I've heard a lot of comparisons with that. Um, but again, I haven't played them, so I can't really say. But the way you kind of spend your cards um, as resources, as either offense or defense or whatever, kind of gave me a bit of a vibe of um, Flesh and Blood. So I thought that was kind of cool. Um, but yeah, I, uh, I was really surprised with this game and I'm really curious to see where it goes, but, uh, I did have some issues and I just kind of wanted to go over my initial thoughts and stuff with, uh, with what I saw and how I felt. Um, now one thing I want to talk about real quick is the UI. Uh, I have a bit of a problem with the UI. I just, something about it feels I, I don't want to be offensive, but it feels unpolished, kind of amateur. It's just like, it, it feels like something from the 90s, you know? It feels like a digital game from the 90s. The buttons are kind of just like simple and plain and not really all that impressive. Um, I'd like to kind of see them clean this up. Like even this, it just looks super basic. Your little player card here, it's just flat gray, flat black. Um, the edges are all just rounded edges. It's like somebody went into Photoshop and just used the, the, the shape tool and made that shape. And it just doesn't feel high quality, you know? Um, is that a big deal? No. Uh, I can live with what we have, but I would like to see the UI polished up a bit. Uh, again, it's just not like super impressive. Um, even like the deck editing thing, it's it's okay, but a lot of it just looks kind of, I don't want to say cheap either, but it just doesn't feel great. It looks like it could be, it, 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 I feel like it could be much higher quality. Um, like the cards and stuff are fine. I have no real issue with the design of the cards or anything like that, but just something with the UI, it just even like the little icons, like the home icon and stuff, they just look like basic clip art kind of style. The text is super boring. Uh, not that I need like some fancy 
text or anything, but it just, it, something about the UI just doesn't feel right. Um, so hopefully that's something they, uh, they kind of uh, touch on eventually. But yeah, that was one of the first things that kind of jumped out to me is the, the UI just felt kind of, kind of eh. Um, beyond that, uh, the tutorials were... They were okay, um, but I feel like for a new player, it could be pretty confusing. Uh, I don't know if any of you have played the tutorials. If you have, let me know in the comments below what you think. But I felt like they were a bit, it could have been a bad translation, like a bad English translation that made it a little bit more convoluted and, and confusing. Um, but some of the stuff actually took me a little bit to kind of figure out on my own, uh, basically just through playing. and. I think the only reason I figured it out was because I've played so many card games that it just kind of came naturally to me. Um, an example is the uh, the little red circle on the side here. Basically, that's your thresholds. Uh, so you need to play uh, one red energy to, ca to cast this or play this. Um, another example would be with, uh, with Gohan here. Uh, he's got two red dots, so it's a four cost, but two of them have to be red. So that wasn't super clear uh, in the tutorials. That I kind of had to just figure out on my own. Um, it's a little easier uh, right now because there aren't any dual color decks. It's all single color decks. So that was never really an issue. But yeah, that was something I, I wasn't really sure what those red dots were for at first. Um, and then as I played, I kind of figured it out, but, um, stuff like that, uh, I feel like wasn't explained super well in the tutorial. And I think that could be, uh, touched upon as well, just to make it a little bit easier for, for especially newer people to card games to, uh, to understand. Um, but yeah, I, th I think the, the tutorial could use a little bit of a pass over, but again, not a huge deal. Uh, once I kind of figured it out, everything kind of made sense and it wasn't too, uh, wasn't too difficult to follow um another issue i had um there's doesn't seem to be any sort of duplicate protection so when you open a pack um you can only have four of a card in a deck except for certain other cards there's certain exception cards uh we won't get into that though but um yeah there there's no duplicate protection so if you open five of a card one of them is useless and the problem is is there's not really anything you can do with them as far as i know um there's no system like hearthstone where you can dust cards and get resources to craft other cards and stuff like that uh there's no selling there's no trading um there's none of that and i feel like when you're paying money for cards um it feels pretty bad to get duplicate cards that are now just kind of useless so something uh, needs to be done there, I think, especially with leaders. You can only have one leader in your deck. Uh, so if you get a duplicate, and they're, they're a rare um, pull in the packs too. So if you happen to get two of the same leader, well, one of them is just useless, and it took up a, a rare spot. So I don't think I like that very much. Um, I would like to see them. Even if it was something like if you get a duplicate of a card, it enhances your your first card a little bit like i don't know adds a cooler border or something uh, animated maybe um i don't know if i want to have to go through duplicates to get like animated stuff but something needs to be done um because again when you're paying money for cards uh getting duplicates that are now just useless that you can't do anything with just doesn't feel very good so I would like to see um, something done with that. I don't know if they have anything planned specifically for that, but that was one of the uh, one of the big issues that that came up when we were uh, discussing it. Um, so I'd like to see something like that. Uh, so speaking of animated cards, I think it'd be really cool. Somebody brought this up in chat. Um, be really cool to see animated cards that had like scenes from the shows or the movies. Um, I don't know what the licensing would be there. Like, I know they have the license to use uh, the Dragon Ball IP, um, but I don't know if that would necessarily include the ability to use, like, uh, movie and, and show clips, but I think that would be kind of cool to have animated cards 
using scenes from the movies and the shows. Um, but either way, animated cards would be dope. Uh, ideally not something like Marvel Snap. I feel like that's... The animated cards in Snap are kind of cheap. Um, it basically feels like they just went into that uh, that phone app where you select an area and it kind of shifts it around a bit. Doesn't feel animated. It feels a little cheap, kind of like cheating. Um, I'd like to see some actual animated cards. Uh, I think that'd be really cool. Um, another thing that would be cool, you can kind of see in the background, we got some, some battles going on. Um, for those of you who know the mechanics, basically you start with eight life and you go down to zero as you take damage or whatever. Um, it'd be really cool to see battle damage. So because there's only eight life, um, it'd be nice to see like each health point you lose. There's You take a little bit of battle damage, uh, whether it's like ripped clothing or something. Um, I think that would be kind of cool too. Just feel a little more um, immersive, I guess. Something like that would be a little neat. Uh, another thing that I'd like to see is diversity in like the card names. Um, it's not like super, uh, like a super big deal, but if you look down here, we've got Vegeta here, right? Um, Vegeta, Saiyan, Universe 7, whatever. But it's a very different card from uh, Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta here, um, but it's still just Vegeta. Uh, and even the actual leader cards. So this one right here is the um, the starter deck leader, right? And then you flip it and it's Super Saiyan Goku. Uh, but it's just Go Son Goku on that. It's Son Goku on the, uh, the pulled one as well from the set, which then turns into Super Saiyan Blue Goku. Um, but just looking at the names of the cards... Uh, the, the, the pose is slightly different. The colors are slightly different, but uh, I feel like in, in situations like that, it could be a little bit confusing for some people. It'd be nice to see them um, kind of differentiated a bit, even just in name, you know? Uh, like this is nice, Son Gohan, but this is adolescence version. There's a young version, stuff like that. So just even here. Son Goku, I mean, it's Super Saiyan Blue Goku. I feel like they should maybe put that. Just a, not, not a huge thing, but just a little nitpick I have there. Uh, there's a bunch of different Whis, uh, which is kind of whatever. Um, there's some different Krillins. Uh, just some kind of distinction. You know, I guess with like Krillin and stuff, it's kind of harder to do any sort of distinction because it's not like Super Saiyans where they have different uh, different forms, right? Um, but something like that, just Vegeta and Vegeta feels a little bit weird, you know? Um, yeah, something, just a, again, a little nitpick that I have, not a big deal, but I would like to see them uh, do something there. Um, other than that, most of the, the, the rest of the stuff that I want to talk about is kind of just stuff I hope for. Um, so one thing right now it's in Japanese, um, uh, not the text or anything, but the voices and stuff are all in Japanese and there's no subtitles. Uh, personally, I'd love there to be an English dub just because that's what I grew up with. Um, I know a lot of people, uh, kind of like the, uh, Japanese voices. It's, they like the kind of, um, what is it? The, the, the natural, natural version, the, the clean untouched unenglished uh version of it but for me personally like i said i grew up with the the dubs um and those are just kind of the voices i associate with the characters so personally i'd like to see that but at the very least i'd like to see subtitles it'd just be nice to know what my my leader's saying when he's beating the hell out of uh, my opponent you know um some other stuff here is something that i've always wanted in my digital card games um, so again, going back to Hex Shards of Fate, it had a PvE mode. Um, now this isn't the main thing I want, but PvE would be really cool to have, uh, little storylines or something that you go through. You go through the, the actual show storylines or something and do all those fights with your deck. Uh, you fight Frieza, you fight Cell, all that stuff would be really cool. Um, so I'd like to see something like that. Uh, but the main thing, there's two main things actually I'd really like to see. 
I'd like to see some co-op PvE um, where you go in with a friend or multiple friends and you could do some really cool boss battles and stuff. That was something that was kind of promised to us with Hex. Um, there was going to be uh, things called raids and you'd go through a dungeon and you'd fight a boss and it'd all be digitally with cards. Uh, and I thought that was really cool. It was always something I looked forward to. They never were able to do it. And I don't think a lot of people, um, I, I mean, I haven't seen any card games that have really managed to do that well. Uh, but I would love to see something like that. I don't know if whoever's doing this game, I don't know if it's Bandai or if it's like an outside company that's licensed by Bandai or whatever. I don't know if they're going to care enough to go that all in on this game, which I hope isn't the case because I hate seeing games with potential kind of get just kind of pushed to the side, you know, and just bare bones. Um, they might care more about the paper version and not so much about the digital, but I'm hoping that the digital version gets a lot of um, recognition and a lot of people playing it and it does push them to want to put more into the game, but time will tell on that. But yeah, I would love to see some co-op PVE. I think that'd be really cool. You both come in with your decks um, or multiple of you all come in with your, your decks built for that raid or even just a boss battle itself. Um, like, can you imagine if you go in and you go through a whole little storyline where you got, I don't know, three of you, you and your two friends, and you're going up against, uh, I don't know, a bunch of Cell Juniors, and then you got to actually fight Cell. Stuff like that would be really cool. I would love to see something like that. But again, time will tell on that. Uh, but another thing that I, I really want, and it's something that, again, not many card games, not many digital card games seem to do, is I would love team battles. So whether it's 2v2s, 3v3s, whatever, I would love to see some like team PvP uh, kind of uh, kind of battles in a card game. So something like that, I think, would be pretty cool in this. Um, so speaking of that, there is a uh, there was a survey done. Um, as you, well, you can kind of see it in the uh, the bottom left of the main menu here, um, there was an open beta survey questionnaire. Um, and in that, uh, one of the last questions, there was, uh, what are you hoping for, uh, or what are you hoping in particular for the digital version of Dragon Ball Super Card Game Fusion World? That's a long title. Um, but you can see for me, I put, uh, the volume of leader cards and richness of battle animations. Cause I thought that was cool. I don't really care about avatar customization. I don't look at it. It's not something that's really going to be a thing to me, whatever. Uh, all the cards, uh, same cards as the physical tabletop version being available. I probably should have checked that. I, I do kind of want them to be in sync, I guess. Um, digital only cards would be cool. Uh, digital version tournaments and team battles such as three on three. So it's something they've clearly thought about if they put this in their questionnaire. So that was an absolute check mark for me. Uh, community features such as guild and clans. I mean, that's fine. Um, it depends on what they're going to do for with it, right? Like if it's just guilds and clans and nothing happens out of it. Um, I, I, this is just me brainstorming quick, but like sharing cards or trading cards or having uh, guild slash clan um, goals where you if a certain amount of things are done, a certain amount of battles are done, everybody in the in the clan gets so some car a card or some gems or something to buy boosters whatever as long as something's done with it sure but if it's just guilds where you just get a bunch of people in a list and that's it i don't really care uh, i probably should have clicked global uh global matchmaking too um i don't know that that's such a vague thing so i wasn't really sure what they were getting at with that but um, it could be something to do with like tournaments and that kind of thing, or just the ranked mode or whatever, but, um, low queue times for matchmaking is always nice events where you can battle strong CPU enemies. So that kind of goes to that PVE thing I was talking about. And then events where players can cooperate with each other. Now that could just be like, you know, the typical, um, I hate to, I don't want to compare this game to like a mobile game, but you know, the, those community events, right? Like as a community, 
beat Frieza five times, you know, like, or a million times, whatever. Could be something like that, but I'm really hoping um, that that could potentially mean some co-op PvE. Uh, and they do say events for both of those, so that sounds temporary to me, which hopefully isn't the case. But um, it could be cool to have it where um, it's released in like story segments, right? You do like the, the Frieza Saga is an event, but then it gets added permanently to the storyline uh, within the game that you can go back and play and stuff like that. Um, but that could be a, a good way to release those story segments. Uh, with events you make them a big like release event kind of deal so stuff like that would be pretty cool um but yeah that was basically it for the survey um but yeah that one i just wanted to point out just because it touched on a lot of the things that i actually wanted myself um so yeah that would be that would be pretty cool but yeah, that's basically all I wanted to talk about. Um, like I said, I only really got a day with the game. Um, I didn't want to go too crazy. Uh, I kind of want to save myself for release, which I don't even know when that is. I tried to find information on that, but there doesn't seem to be anything set. Uh, as, the time, as of the time of recording this, the beta is going to end tonight at midnight Pacific um, of the 29th. Uh, so maybe once that's done, they'll kind of announce, um, an actual release date. I believe, uh, I believe the, uh, paper game releases late February, like fe February 23rd, something like that. Um, let me see if I can find it quick. Um, but yeah, I believe that releases sometime in February, uh, like end of February, uh, so I don't know if they're planning to release them at the same time, February 23rd. Yeah, uh, that's the release of the actual paper card game. I know there's an event going on in L.A. right now. Dragon Ball Con or something. Uh, Battle a thon. I don't know, um, but they're kind of doing some pre-release stuff there. Uh, but yeah, I, I again, it's it's a little worrisome that there doesn't seem to be too much. Uh, put into um, uh, the actual uh, digital version at the moment. So hopefully it's not just like a, an afterthought for them and it is something they are going to uh, to actually look into a little bit more, but time will tell. But yeah, uh, I, I really like the game so far. I was impressed with what I played. Uh, I don't know what they have planned. Um, I'm trying to find as much information as I can, but there just doesn't seem to be much right now. But yeah, time will tell. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to do a ton of content for this game. It's all going to depend on uh, whether I like the game or not, or uh, whether they're going to put much into it. Um, but I am going to keep an eye on it. Um, again, I grew up on Dragon Ball, uh, watching all the Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, uh, so the IP is is something I'm interested in. Uh, and then card games in general, I've always been looking for another card game to play. Uh, and especially one that actually is fun to play. Um, seems like there's a lot of potential there. But again, time will tell. Hopefully they care. Hopefully it's not just a, a little side cash grab um, paired up with the actual paper release. But who knows? Who knows? Uh, anyway... That's all I wanted to say. Uh, let me know what you guys think down below. Um, yeah, and hopefully we'll all be playing this uh, on release soon enough. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.